World economies are staring at a possible recession and a tough year ahead, but the growth is likely to come back by the end of the current year. That is word coming from Gita Gopinath, the first deputy managing director of International Monetary Fund. In an exclusive conversation with Weon's business editor Sumit Chaturvedi, she shared her views on India's role in the current macroeconomic environment, IMF support for Pakistan and Sri Lanka, and China's reopening. Watch. We are here for the Tamil Forum in Davos and we are here with Geeta Gopina. She needs no introduction. She has been coming here since years now. And uh, we first of all, thanks for joining us, Geeta. Uh, you're here in Davos. What's the sense you're getting about the global economy? What's the outlook for 2023? I think everybody agrees that we have a tough year ahead. You know, we still have inflation running high in many countries and we have monetary policy tightening and expected to remain tight, which should then weigh on economic activities. The global demand is expected to slow. But at the same time, the expectation is that towards the end of this year and into 2024, we would see growth coming back up. So growth would bottom out this year. It would be lower this year than it was uh, last year. But then towards the end of the year, things should improve and uh, get better into 2024. What about the emerging economies like India? Do they provide a ray of, ray of hope here? What's the optimism and uh, overall assessment about the Indian economy and other emerging economies? So for India, we have uh, its growth for this fiscal year at 6.8% and for next at 6.1%. So relatively speaking, those are good growth numbers uh, and that contributes to uh, global growth uh, positively. Of course, emerging markets face the same headwinds that others are facing too, which is a difficult global environment with global demand slowing down and that is going to affect their countries. Also with interest rates going up, that will affect financial conditions in your own country. So those negative effects will be there and that's something they will have to deal with. In Asia, economies like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, they are, are in, in not in very good shape. Do you think they will become better after IMF provides them bailout or provides them some kind of support as well? We're working very closely with uh, all the countries, you know, including Pakistan and Sri Lanka and the difficult problems that they face. And you know, where hope, our hope is to get them uh, to a better place, of course, along with our other collaborating international financial institutions like the World Bank. So there is a lot of uh, work that still needs to be done, uh, but we're hoping to make progress this year. One last question. Yesterday we were uh, listening to you. There was talk about revenge, everything coming out of China, revenge travel, revenge shopping, everything. That's going to create problems as far as inflation is concerned. So inflation is going to remain high because China is reopening. Is that so? So there are two winds that are going in opposite directions. There is the fact that the global economy is slowing to some extent because of tight monetary policies and that's reducing demand, which is why we've seen energy prices come down quite a bit. But on the other hand, indeed, China has reopened, is re-engaged with the world, there's going to be more mobility. It depends upon how strong that growth is. So if it's you know around the range of 4% around there, uh, then I would say that uh, energy prices will you know may not shoot up. But if it goes to much higher numbers, then we could certainly see another wave of uh, rising prices for commodities. Thank you so much. Thanks. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.